it's Susan here and welcome back to another studio vlog On today's agenda, I have a lot of sticker orders to fulfill, so we are going to do that. Um, this is going to be a very short studio vlog just because it is Tuesday today and I would like to have this uploaded on Friday and then scheduled for Saturday. And so I don't have a lot of time to work with. The reason why I'm actually in a rush for this video is because I was planning to do a Kankin Konkin. Konkin, Fjall Raven Konkin book bag thing, but I made a little wallet out of it and um, I'm not happy with the results, so I want to redo that and so in order to do that, I need to get more materials and I need to plan out my ideas. I kind of have the gist of it from the test run, but yeah, so that's what I spent all day doing yesterday. And so my room is a hot mess. We need to first clean that up and then we can get on to the sticker packing making whole ordeal. Let's get to that right now. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. When I have a lot of sticker orders to fulfill, I like to tally up every sheet that I will be needing so that I can print them out all at once and I won't have to worry about it later. If you guys are interested in knowing how I make my stickers, I have a series on my channel that is dedicated to all things Etsy and I have a video in that series that specifically goes over how I make Kiss Cut stickers. I will leave a link in the description box down below. I had a little bit of the rock paper scissors sticker paper left but it was honestly taking up a lot of space to keep it in its own separate box that it came in so I put it together with my online label sticker paper and separated it with a random FedEx label. To me the quality of both the online label sticker paper and this rock paper scissor one feels the same but the online labels one is a little more cost effective so I have decided to stick with the online labels one.
So after I have finally finished printing and cutting out all of these stickers, you can see that the lighting has changed a bit because it's now nighttime. Um, so moving on to the next order of business, I am using my Recollections paper cutter to cut out the backing cards for my churl die cut stickers and my thank you cards that go into every single order. The churro die cuts do require a bit of extra work because I need to go in and individually package them but they just look so absolutely adorable and cute in the packaging and I think it's well worth the bit of extra. I also quite enjoy the process. I like crafts and arranging the stickers in the packaging just feels like crafting to me. All right, I am finally at the packaging stage, which is honestly the best part for me. I love doing this while watching Bob's Burgers, and though it may seem like such a mundane task, I can assure you it is the part I enjoy the most. So I just finished packaging all the orders and um, I am going to now schedule a pickup with my post office and then I am going to stick it in my mailbox so that they can come get it. So I tried out something new. Okay, this was the first one I tried so I did that but um, I think I'm gonna package all my orders like this. I just think it looks so much cuter and you know, you get a little bit of muffin in front of every package. So yeah, I am going to now go to Sheng's house and we are going to make dinner. Can we just talk, talk about
Hi, it's Editing Susan here again. I filmed this clip right here as the outro for this video, but Sheng's family was karaokeing downstairs, and this is what it sounded like throughout the entire clip. Port all the footage that I recorded today, and so I figured I will just narrate this outro for you guys. How sweet of me, right? So here I am blabbing on about the dinner Sheng and I cooked. We made some stir fried chicken and peppers along with some zucchini and blah, blah 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 fast forward i am now talking shit about the damn chicken it was tough and rough and 100 do not recommend allowing your boyfriend to go grocery shopping alone and i blab on for some more about random stuff that is really irrelevant and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know what you thought of it if you never want to miss another update from me please make sure to subscribe to me and until next time bye